Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today I'm going to be continuing and completing this uh, teddy bear that my friend had got from the Dollar Tree and it's by Crafters Square. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So if you had not seen the first video um, of this teddy bear, um, go and check that out. It is just a tutorial on how to start the project. So you essentially, it's pretty much the same process for each body part. So I started it off using the instructions and kind of explaining it so that um, it's easier to understand because I have to be honest, the instructions were a little confusing. So if you have ever been to the Dollar Tree, um, you may or may have not seen this Crafter Square animals. They come in maybe like four or five animals, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so my best friend went and purchased one of these from there and was a little confused with the instructions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, talk it out. Uh, in the beginning as much as I can to hopefully make it clear and I am going to simplify it for me because uh, when I did the first video and I tried out the leg of this bear it was a little confusing so hopefully I can just tweak it for myself so that I'm not going a little nuts but um, yeah basically it's this DIY crochet animal kit it comes with a lot, but all I have here is pictures, you guys, so I'm using my own stuff. I don't have all this stuff, but it comes with the plastic needle to, um, I'm guessing, sew the body parts together as well as, I think, to um, pull a uh, piece of thread through. Where did I put that? Yeah, it's like a little um, <laughs> marker so that you know which round you're on and I'll show you how to do that later and then um it comes with stuffing a yarn which is good stuffing I have my own stuffing I have my own yarn crochet hook I have my own crochet hook and I guess I'm realizing now the reason why they didn't give you a crochet size because they already give you one so that's awesome um but I have my own and um I just I have a number of crochet needles. This is the first one I saw. It's a G, or in numbers, it's a 6-4.25 um, millimeter crochet needle. And it also comes with plastic beads and an instruction sheet um, that I'm going to talk through today. And it's supposed to look like this cute teddy bear. So cross fingers let's see what we can do okay so moving on to the instructions um, it has uh, before crocheting you have to learn some basic knowledge <laughs> so that's fun um, what I deduced from this instruction is that steps one through um, 14 depending on the number of stitches uh, the first row is is how you start each body part um, so I'm going to go through again how I did all these steps to help you guys out and then um, it tells you how to do a chain stitch uh, which is kind of just called a chain or stitch um, and let's see since I'm here and if you're like a really new beginner to crocheting so I'll show you how they start off, but for purposes of showing you what a chain stitch is, I'm just going to quickly um, start off this bit here. So if you want to learn how to do a chain stitch, you have your first loop and you're basically going to yarn over, pull it, pull it through the loop. And that's a chain stitch and you can do this as many times as needed for the instructions or whatever it is you're doing when I was learning I learned when I was in like elementary school uh, my aunt taught me 
And so once I learned how to make these, I was doing like friendship bracelets like this, um, which is clearly a lot faster and easier to make as you see as I'm talking. I mean, it'll come over time, but I'm going fairly fast. And when you do pay attention, it'll end up becoming uniform. This is not uniform. I'm just talking and, and crocheting at the same time. But see how easy that was. So now, if you want to do a, um, let's move this up. If you want to do a single crochet stitch, that's fairly easy. So from this chain that we have here, we're going to make a single crochet crochet stitch. So you want to count um, the second chain from the hook. This is the chain that we're going to be sticking our needle in. And a lot of people will stick it on the top cord here. I like to show the, the chain so I really stick it in from the back. If you look at it on the back side, um, there's humps in the middle. If you look on the right side, um, it's nice and pretty. It's got the, the, the chains and it looks like a braid. So instructions will call this the right side. And this is the wrong side because it's usually like not as pretty. <laughs> so because of that, like I said, second chain from hook, I'm going to hook it from the back loop on the wrong side. Yarn over pull a loop, yarn over again, and pull through two. And that, you guys, is a single crochet. So look at the row that it just made. And you just continue to do that. I'll do that again. Um, three more times just so that you learn how to, how to do it. So in the next chain, like I said, you have the nice pretty braiding on the right side. So what you want to do on the wrong side is stick the needle in that loop, yarn over, pull it through the loop, yarn over, and pull it through both loops. Single crochet. Now it's starting to look more like a row. Let's do two more. So again, the right side has a pretty braid, the wrong side has that single loop in the back, stick the needle in the wrong side of that loop, yarn over, pull loop up, yarn over again, and pull through two. And one more time just to make sure. So find that right side with the nice braids, go on the wrong side, and stick the needle through that loop yarn over, pull through the loop. Thought I got a little piece of that. Okay. Yarn over again and pull through both loops. And that's how you single crochet. Look at this pretty row. And if you look at the edge, it's all pretty. Nice and even. That's what I like to see. Seeing it's the same on the top side. Nice braiding. Okay, so the other directions are increasing a stitch. So this is kind of like, I mean, I've done a lot of crocheting books and um, it's kind of rare for me to see increasing and decreasing stitches, it's there. It's kind of annoying in my book, but, um, you know, some instructions call for it. So increasing a stitch is basically doing the same stitch in the same loop. So for example, if I wanted to cre uh, increase a single crochet stitch, we just did this one here, I would stick that needle right back into that same loop that we did. Can you see that? Just stick it right back in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, and draw through two loops. So now, 
this one stitch is holding two. So we just increase this row by one stitch. Um, I can do that again for you guys, but let's see. Let's do a single crochet in the next chain again. We have the nice side, the wrong side, stick the needle in the back loop there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, draw through two loops. That is a single crochet. Now we're going to increase it again. So we go back into that same stitch that we did, put the needle back in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, and draw through two loops. So now we increased it by one again. So since we did that previously here, there's now two extra stitches in this row, and you can see how it's changed. It's no longer like nice and flat. It's got those extra humps because there's two extra stitches in here. Okay. Um, okay. Decreasing stitch. So it's having you go through two stitches in the chain, pulling up a loop, but drawing through all of them in the end. Okay. So let's, let's uh, reset a little bit here. Let's just do a single crochet again for you guys. Again, right side, wrong side, stick the needle in that back loop, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over again, draw through two. That's a single crochet stitch. Now we're going to decrease. So I have these two stitches here. One, two, we are going to kind of do a single crochet. We're going to stick that needle in that loop, yarn over, pull up the loop, and now in the stitch next door, we're going to put the needle in there, yarn over, pull up the loop, and then we're going to draw through all three. One, two, three. And that's decreasing stitch and you can kind of see it too, how it's like bunching in now. Before it was bunching out, now it's bunching in. So let's do that one more time, you guys. So let's reset. Let's do a single crochet, right side, wrong side, stick the needle in that back loop, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now we're going to decrease right side, wrong side. You see the two loops in the back that we're going to use. The first one, stick the needle back there, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, go through the next loop, yarn over, pull up, yarn over again, and draw through all three. So we decreased again. Now this is, it's it's funny. So you see it kind of undulating now. It's going like this. We increase two stitches here, decrease two stitches here. So now we're kind of back to normal, but that's pretty much how you do it. So now that we learned the basic stitches, each body part here is pretty much I can't get any bigger than this. It's pretty much the same circle that we're going to be making, increasing or de decreasing in stitches. So I'm going to start with the um, crochet arms. You need two of these. And in this case, you can kind of count it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And I can see here that there's four rows of brown, two rows of yellow. 
so we're going to do this one. Fun thing about knitting or crocheting is you could always take it apart. So I'm just going to take this apart. <laughs> Got it. Now, we're going to do this one. But let's go back to these instructions and let's start it off so you guys know. So, I'm going to have the end of this yarn kind of the two knuckles here. Or two phalanges, I don't know. <laughs> now you want to have like enough length to make two passes. One, oh, this is already not enough. Okay. One, two, oh, not enough. Let's make it longer. One, two. You want some of this little, little piece in the end. If you clip it like that, you have this little piece here. That's what you want. Now, you're going to want to stick your needle. Hold this down here like this. You want to hold that loose piece. Stick the needle through all of these three loops here. So you have three, right? One, two, three. You're going to have this hook. This hook is going to grab this guy here and pull it through these two. So go ahead, grab that piece there and pull it under. Right? And I can see that I kind of see this right here. It didn't grab this. I didn't grab this when I slipped in. Then that's okay. You can always undo it. Right? So now I'm going to want to stick that needle, making sure it's under. I want to make sure it's under those loops now. So we're going to grab it by the hook again, pull it through. We're not done here, guys. Now with this end here still, Okay, like you're shooting a gun. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Yarn over. Get the hook to pull it through the loop. And that's, and that's your little loop that we got. Okay. See? Got our little loops. And we do this because this little piece here we're going to pull it and tighten the loop. But before we do that, we have to make six um, single crochet stitches. So we did this one, we did this, we did this, we did this. Now we're going to do step five. We're going to yarn over, pull through the loop. And now we're going to start the single crochet stitch. So you're going to want to put the needle through these two loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's your single crochet stitch. Now we are going to repeat this about six times, okay? Because we need six stitches. So I'm gonna leave this right now and go back here because see, for this crochet arm, round one, we need six stitches. So we're gonna do that. So we have one. Two. three, four, five, six. Okay. 
So once we have the six stitches, you always want to go back and check. Count back from your needle. You see you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to do a slip stitch on. But before we do that, I want to tighten this loop. So this little extra piece that we had, you just want to hold the first stitch you made and just, I want to try to do it without like, so I can show you guys. Okay, so I'm going to hold it here and start pulling. This is going to draw all your stitches together. You might have a little excess, that's fine, we'll hide it. But yeah, don't like pull it too tight, but just enough to be snug. So now look, you have that nice spiral in there. Okay. So let's go back to these instructions. So, after you complete these, put the hook through the loop to the direction of the arrow. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop with your hook in the direction of the arrow. So, oh, step 11 and step 12 is what we call a slip stitch. Tuck this excess in the back. What we're going to do is, again, count six stitches. One, two, three four, five, six. So six stitches is here. We're going to want to, now in this case, we don't put it behind anything. There's no chains. This is a single crochet. Unless they tell you to do the top stitch or the bottom stitch, you want to do both. So default is always both, both loops. And actually, they call this the front loop. They call this the back loop. All right, so we're going to yarn over. We're going to pull through not only this single crochet, crochet stitch, we're going to pull through this chain stitch here. There you go. Now you have your six stitches. And you're ready to start your next row. So in this case here, they want you to use the plastic needle to put a different color thread through the sixth stitch. So this is one, two, three, four, wait, this is, this whole thing is supposed to be, okay, one, that's why you count backwards from the needle, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to put, I'm going to, since it's good if you have that plastic needle, in this case I don't, so I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. I'm going to stick, in your case, you'll take that plastic needle that they provided for you. You stick it through the front and the back loop. Then we're going to take the different color and pull it through. You want to hold one end and just pull the other end through so you have something nice and loose. Don't tie it, just leave it there. So you are prone to lose these. <laughs> Try not to. Okay, now we're back in business. Okay, so... Back to the arm here. We just did the first row, you guys. So that's good to go. We are going to go to the second row, which is, again, another six stitches. So this one is going to be easy. This is all going to be six sti stitches. You're going to have one long tube, a long tube of the arm. So you want to do the, sh the single crochet and the way you start that is you have to, like we did in the instructions, I'll show you. It's when you start the next row, you are 
you are in number five. Yarn over and pull a loop. That's how you start off your next row. But since we no longer have that chain, we already have stitches now, it's going to be a little different. So, in the next stitch, you want to stick your needle again in the front and back loops. Front and back loops. This is the front, this is the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, and draw through two loops. So now we have two stitches, four more to go, right? So we are going to stick it through the next stitch, both front and back loops, yarn over, draw through the loops, yarn over, draw through the remaining loops. Now we have three, three more to go, you guys. One, two, okay, four stitches. We need two more, one, two. Okay. So now we have to do the slip stitch again. So you guys make sure this is the, the, the right side, the pretty side. This side, not so pretty. I mean, it's all right, but it's not as pretty as this side. So this is what we call the right side. This is what we call the wrong side. So since we know this is going to be a tube arm, just make sure that you push up that center. Because it's going to go like this, right? So just make sure this part pops up so that when you do slip stitch these things, the right side will show, not the ugly side. Okay, wrong side, sorry. <laughs> So just to make sure, just count back. We have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches here. So I have to do a slip stitch. We're gonna stick the needle right here in the front and back loops. Yarn over. Pull through the two loops there and also pull through that chain there. So at this point, starting to form that tube, you can pull this guy out now. Okay. Because now we have a second row. We have row one and row two. So. To mark off where we put this connection here, you just need to slip this into that stitch. And this is like, I probably made this one so loose that there is a gap. Let me see, if you end up doing this, you can always take it back. You just remove the needle and slowly remove one stitch off. So you get this back, you can put the needle back on there and then slip through that double loop and then you can make it tighter. We're gonna make this tighter. Okay, don't make it too tight, but just enough so that we don't get that weird gap. But now what we're gonna do, since I removed my marker, just count back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three four, five, six, okay. We're gonna stick the needle back through the front and back loops. 
yarn over, draw through those two loops as well as draw through the chain. Okay. And now that it's tighter, I actually need to take my needle off. I'm going to slip it through here and put this marker back on for the new row because now we have two rows. Hold on a second. It's getting crazy. Okay. Never panic when it looks like it's getting crazy. So we have that. And of course giving it slack, that chain loosened up. So try to tighten that back. All right. So now we have two rows. We're going to do the third row, and the third row is still six. Like I said, this is all six. I just have to remind myself that once I finish the fourth row, I have to switch to yellow, and I'll show you how I do that. Ironically, I don't think they show you how to change color. Yeah, they don't. So I'm going to show you how I change color. There are a million ways to do it, but I'm just going to do it the way that I feel like is easiest at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, now again, we're going to start at that step five. Let's go back. Step five on the instructions, going to yarn over, pull up a loop. And then now we're going to do the single crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do through both front and back loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, draw through all loops. That's one. Again. Two. Again. Three. Again. Four. Again, five. Okay, and I think I have one more. Let's just count back to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. And then into this last marker one that we have here. Let's go away. Six, and then you can remove this, move this guy. So we should have six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is that excess. You can cut this off a little bit, or you can just leave it. We're gonna tuck it in here so that it is away. We don't really need that anymore, but on the sixth stitch, I'm going to do a slip stitch. So let's count back again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's slip it in here. Yarn over. Draw through all the loops. And then we're going to leave the marker here. So for me, I got to pull out this needle stick it back in that stitch we just made. Try to keep it nice and taut. Put the marker back in. Okay, and let one side pass through. So we got the one. Put this needle back. Make it nice and taut. Okay, you guys, we have three rows now. So hopefully you're in a nice lit area to where you can see it, but we have the row one, row two, row three. So now we're gonna do the fourth row. Okay. Step five again, just pull a loop through that chain. And now we do six single crochets. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, oops, five. and six. Get rid of the marker. And then we gotta make sure we have our six stitches because we're gonna do the slip stitch on the sixth stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And this one is six. Now, rows five and six are going to be yellow. This is where it's going to be a little difficult for you guys. Um, the way that they have it here, I guess we'll follow the instructions. So this is for the last row, but this is for the last row for the color. So you know what? Because then you're going to lose your, your, you don't have a marker for this. Let's just do it this way. Hmm. Hmm. It just, see, and that's why it's a little tough when they don't show you every instruction, especially switching colors out. I want to do this right. Oh, I don't even know if I have white, you guys. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me think, 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 think. All right, I'm just going to do it this way. If you have a different way, you can do it a different way. But I'm going to grab my, my yellow here. Right? Now... You can slide this down. So you just, I'm gonna hold this a little bit. Cause I need, I have one needle. If you have another needle, that's great. But I have one needle. You want to pinch the end of the yarn with your thumb and your ring finger. And then a little bit over, down the yarn with your pointer and your middle finger. And this is how you start crocheting, period. That's not this way. You want to stick your needle perpendicular to the yarn. See? Then once you do that, you want to dip down and around. Dip down and around. So again, perpendicular, dip down and around. You see that? You created a nice little loop around there. Let's do it one more time. Perpendicular, dip, oops, dip down and around. All right, make sure it's nice and loose. If you can't do this, you're holding too tight. So, with any, well, with my ring finger at least, I'm gonna just hold this here. Just hold it in place so I can let go. Right? So you had it like this. Just take your finger, hold it in place. Now I can do whatever I want. <laughs> All right. So as with anything that you're knitting, you always want to grab as much yarn as you feel comfortable with. Sometimes I'll do like a big wad, but I'm just going to take a little bit. Now, go back to holding the end. You don't want to let this guy go. You want to maintain this little loop. Loop around. So, you could just pinch it like I'm doing here. Just pinch it closed. Make sure that you got this end this way and the other one end going that way. So they're crossing each other. See that? They're crossing. 
Okay, pinch it. Then, like we do with single crochet, you want to yarn over and you want to draw it through that loop. Okay? You just made a chain. Now, we just have to tighten this. So what I like to do actually, just get yourself some slack, pull it out, pull it out, remove the needle. Now let's work on this. All right. So I'm actually going to try to get the end to be as close to this, this loop as possible. See what I'm doing here? Don't pull it through because you'll lose the loop but just keep it nice and short, right butt up to this loop. I'm gonna pinch these two together. So I'm not gonna lose this end. I'm not gonna lose this loop. Now, there's the side that is loose, right? You can pull it up and down and it gives you that slack. This is not the side you pull. This side is the stationary one. You're gonna want to keep this loop here in place, right? Slowly let go of this one. Hold the end here. And you just want to slowly pull, pull and push. Pull with these two fingers, push with these two fingers. So pull the yarn while pushing that loop close to the end of this yarn here. Just keep doing that until you kind of get it tight but not too tight because once I do that I still need I have a big loop here so what you can do put the needle back in and then start pulling it's like a necktie now now you just start pulling this side till it's nice and snug and I do it this way because then it, there's only a little bit of yarn as opposed to all that excess yarn we had before. Now, keep this on here. This is how I'm going to change color. You don't have to do it this way. They really don't tell you how to do it. You can always Google um, how to change colors crocheting. But, so, this is kind of long and gone. So what are we going to do? I am going to pull this one now through the two loops and that single chain. And what we can do with this now, we're going to cut this. i just grab my scissors here. So I'm going to cut this now. And just to make sure that this guy never unravels, what you could do is tie a loose knot around it, right? Just a loose one, one or two times, however much you need to feel secure about that. <laughs> but now we can move forward. So we'll actually be able to tell where we started off because the color is now different. So it'll be easy to find where we started with the yellow. So now we're going to continue like we continued before with this yarn over, pull through the loop. So now we got to make six stitches. So let's do one. two, three, four, five, And then 
six. Yikes, all right, I lost it, so Let's stick it through the loops again. six and then I have to slip stitch it so just to make sure count backwards one two three four five six you want to stick through both front and back loops yarn over and draw through the two loops and draw through that one so now that we're back to the same color I have to mark this off. So let's pull up some slack, get through the stitch that we just made, stick your marker on there, put your needle back. Okay. And make it nice and taut. And this guy, I'm just going to stuff this in there. Use bigger needles if you have no patience with tiny stuff, because you're going to have to stuff this later. All right, so now it's hidden. Nice. So now we have to do the sixth row. And we're done with this arm. Yarn over. Pull up a chain. And do six stitches. One, two, three, four. five and six remove the marker make sure count back one two three four five six so we're going to slip stitch into this one here both front and back loops yarn over Pull up through those loops, pull up through that chain, and you're pretty much done with this arm. So according to the instructions again for last row, let us cut this. And you want to leave enough for just in case whatever. <laughs> Yarn over, pull through that last loop, and now we're just going to make it nice and tight. Okay. So now that we have our nice little arm, for now I'll leave this out. When we sew this guy to up, I don't know yet after read the instructions if we're going to be using this to sew it on or if I'm just going to tuck this in. But we have the first arm. So we have to do two of these. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a break here. I'm going to do the second arm and then we'll start again doing the legs. So we had previously made this arm. Here's the arm. Here's the shirt. And off camera, I did the other arm. Arm and the shirt. So now we have two pieces here. The little teddy bear. So now I'm going to do the crochet legs and you have to do two of them. And this where is this is where it gets a little tricky because um, for row two we have an increase of three stitches and for rows four we have a decrease of two stitches. So like we did before, we're gonna start off like we always start off. As in the previous page, 
We're going to wrap this around your finger twice. Try to get this a little bit over the finger there, so I need more slack. And don't make it too tight. You don't want to lose the circulation in your finger. I used to do that a lot when I was learning. <laughs> My finger would be all purple, and that's not good. So, slip the needle through there. You're, you want to slip through the other third one here. We're going to hook that and pull it through the two loops. Okay. Then, still on your finger, we're going to yarn over again and draw through the loop. And now we can remove it. So we have our two loops here. We're going to collect some yarn here. See, I like putting a lot on my finger. Okay. Just make sure that the first stitch you did is a little snug. Okay. Now we're going to yarn over again, pull through that chain. Now we're going to start the single crochet, which is putting it through this these two loops. Yarn over, yarn over again, pull through those two loops. So we created one, we need five more. One, two, three, four, Five. So we should have six stitches now on here. So let's count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we will be slip stitching into these two. I'm going to lose it, but <laughs> here, like we did before, we want to pull this, the end of the yarn, to tighten up this loop. Pull it as tight as it'll allow you. Don't go too crazy. You just want it enough to where it closes. And it's closed now, so we're good. Put this in the background. You don't need that right now distracting you. But like I said, we're going to count six stitches from the hook backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to stick the needle in the front and back loops. Yarn over. Pull through those loops and pull through that chain. And now we have our circle. Let's give some slack here. Put the needle through here. Add your marker. Oops. Pull it through those loops and make sure one end stays back while you pull the other end through those two loops. So now you have your marker. You want to put back the needle, make it nice and taut, and we have our row one. So this is our one, our row one, you guys. Let's go back to our teddy bear pattern. So it looks like we have six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. First row is six stitches that we already did. Now we have to do the increase. So the way I like to go about it is we have to add three more stitches. You want to try to make them nice and even. You don't want to add the extra stitches in the end because um, it'll start bunching or undulating like we saw in the beginning. If you even it out, um, it'll kind of gradually grow um, as you increase in stitches and it'll look smoother. So, we're going to chain one like we do in step five of that first sheet there. Now we're going to do six stitches. We're going to do the first one. Okay. 
But while I'm here, let's increase it by one. And you always have to keep track of where you are in your stitches. So we just did one, we increased one. Now we have to do five more stitches, but increase two more. So I'm gonna do this every three. So let's see, we have our two, three, Now this fourth one, four, I'm gonna increase again. Let's, it's again, I'm sorry, I didn't explain the first time. Like we did before, you stick it in the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. That's increasing, so there's basically two stitches in this one. So now we have to do the fifth stitch. Right, six stitch. Let's put this guy in the back. Six stitch. Remove the marker. But we're gonna increase this by one again. So where you did that six stitch, put the needle back in, yarn over, through the loop, yarn over again, draw through both loops. So now we should have a total of six plus three is nine. We should have a total of nine stitches. So counting backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna stick our needle on the ninth front and back loops. Now remember, this is the right pretty side. So you just wanna push this up you know what? I can make this a little tighter. This must have loosened it up there a little. Okay. So we stick to in the ninth stitch, front and back loops, yarn over, pull through the two loops, pull through the chain, and now we have our second row complete. How easy was that now? Now that we figured out how the, the process works, You'll find that these will get easier. So now for the third row, we have to do nine stitches. It makes sense because we just increased nine, uh, three more stitches. So let's do nine stitches. Yarn over, pull up through the chain. Then we're gonna do nine stitches, nine single crochet stitches. Stick through those front and back loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, draw through two. So that's one. Let's do eight more. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, oh, and you know what I didn't do? Oh, I didn't mark where I left off. Oh, that is my fault. Okay, let's go back and it'll happen. If it happened to you, leave a comment below, but let's trail back. I think I had five or six stitches. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Oof. I think I screwed this up. <laughs> Let me see. Maybe it was more than that. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to where we started off. This is where we did the slip stitch. Sometimes it's easy to tell where you left off on your row. 
but I'm going to pull up this loop just so that we don't do this mistake again. <laughs> Let's put that marker back. Pull it through those two loops. Make sure you hold on to one end while you drag the other through the other side. All right, now we have our marker. We're good to go again. Sorry, you guys. But you definitely need that marker. I've been doing this for so long, but even though you still, you know, you still can make mistakes. So let's finish this off. But let me, um, sorry, I need to feed my cat. Let me take a break. Okay, sorry, I had to go feed Dexter. It's his dinner time. <laughs> So we have to do um, our third row of nine stitches. So we have our first row here, second row, third row of nine stitches. Now, yarn over, pull through the loop, and then we're gonna do single crochet, stick it through the front and back loops of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, draw through two, now that's one, so we're gonna need eight more. Let's do eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, And like in the other arms that we did, just push that wrong side up so that the right side shows. And let's do three more. Wait, let's count back. I lost count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess we need to do one more. Nine. Let's just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lost it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, whoops, wrong one more. And this is where the marker left off, so. It's good to have the marker. It's also good to count. You need to double check every time, especially when you're following following instructions because you might miss something accidentally. I almost missed a stitch. Um, yarn over, pull through both loops. So we have our nine. I'm gonna remove this now. Let's count backwards. We gotta do that slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, slip this through here, draw through both loops and that chain. I'm going to pull up some slack, stick it through that loop that I just, the stitch I just made, put my marker in, and then pull one end through. Make sure this stuff is tucked away. Stick that needle back in and pull it taut. One thing that I didn't mention is that you're slip stitching two stitches together. So if you pull this up, like I'm pulling it up here, you have this stitch and this stitch. This stitch from the previous row, this stitch from the current row. So when you so when we do this yarn over, pull through the chain, and we have to go into the next stitch, try not to be confused. Some people might try putting the needle in, in the last row stitch. That's not right. So that slip stitch we created, these two stitches here, they're done. You can't use them. You have to move on to the next stitch, which is this one. I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys are seeing. If you don't, leave a comment below but um, you're essentially fusing two stitches together and so you'll be able to see the front and back loops from the previous row, front and back loops from the present row. So 
it's supposed to be one. So you move on to the next stitch, this one. So, but before we do that, we are now on row four. We have to do nine stitches minus two. So at the end of the day, um, this ring is gonna have seven. So like I said, you wanna split it up in this row. You don't wanna do them close together because then you'll have a huge kind of like pulling gap, I guess, not a gap, but it's gonna pull an obvious pull. Uh, wherever you decide to clump them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first, uh, let's do the first stitch. Yeah, let's do the first stitch. So to decrease, like I showed you previously, you put it into the next stitch. We're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, we're not gonna finish here, you guys. We're gonna do the de decreasing stitch. So you're gonna put that needle into the next stitch here, yarn over, pull up. Now we have those three. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all of those stitches. So we just created one. Now we have to create, we know we have to create six more because we're decreasing twice, so after I do four stitches, I'll decrease again. So one, we just did, two, three, four. Okay, so after four stitches that we did, because it's kind of in the middle, I am going to decrease again. We put it through the next stitch, yarn over, pull up. Don't complete the single crochet. You want to put the needle in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, and then now draw through all three stitches. So now we got our fifth stitch and we need two more. So we're going to do the one, and then as in our marker that we left, we have to stick that needle in that stitch that we made, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through both and remove this. So now we should have seven stitches. Let's make sure because we have to do the slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is right here. So what I also didn't mention either is that when we start that row and we um, pull through to make that chain, this is the stitch that it makes. This kind of enables you to, it, it gives you slack to make the next row. So this is technically not a stitch. You might be confused because as you see here, oh Josie, look, this looks like a stitch. It really isn't. It is just reaching to create the first single crochet of that stitch on the new row, if that makes sense. So when you count back seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I lost it moving around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is your sixth one. You're always gonna have this one in the middle because that is the the um, chain that we pulled up when we started the row. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this needle in the front and back loops yarn over, pull through those loops, and pull through that chain. So I'm going to explain again what that weirdness was, but let me first pull up a loop. Okay, so let me go back into the stitch that we did and um, put a marker. You end up becoming very skilled using two hands while you're kneading two hands. Okay, put this needle back, make it nice and taut, and I need to grab my instructions again. Okay. 
So now for the fifth row and the sixth row, it's easy. We're going to do seven stitches. So we're not going, we're not doing any mathematics now <laughs> after this. So let me explain again that situation that I was showing you before. So we have our chain up here, right? Before we start the rows, we always do a chain. So this is technically not a stitch. It's just getting you up there because we are creating this, this row. So if you can just imagine where this needle is and where the, the bottom of this or the top of this row, we're imagining that we're starting this new one. So you see how you do that one chain, it gets you high to make, you know, cause then otherwise you're gonna have like, it's gonna be short at that stitch if you don't add this chain here. So now that I've explained that, hopefully that made sense, let's do seven stitches. So again, these two are fused together technically so we're not using that it's this next stitch coming here stick through that yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through those loops one let's do six more one two three four Poke too far. Four. Five. Six. Let's pull this marker out. So now we should have seven. So we're going to count to make sure one two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. See, like I said, this piece here, that's the one we got to get up to that level. That's not technically a stitch. It's the one next to it. So we're going to stick this. Oh wait, Oof. yeah, we're going to stick this in both front and back loops. Yarn over, pull through that, and pull through the chain. But before we move on to the next row, let's put our marker one last time. So we need some slack here. Pull through those two loops. Put your marker, draw that up, pull it through. Okay, stick your needle back in. Okay. One more row. So again, yarn over, pull up one chain to get to that height for the next row. Then we're gonna do seven stitches. Go to the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> and seven. Let's get rid of the marker. One last time, just to check that we have our stitches, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna stick the needle in the front and back loops. Yarn over, pull through both the loops and the chain. And there we've completed the foot. So like we did with the arm, we're going to cut this off a little bit, leave some excess for whatever it's going to tell us to do later. Yarn over, pull through that loop all the way, 
and we're going to pull it till it's somewhat tight, not super tight. And here is our little foot, you guys. <laughs> so cute. So now you should have three pieces. The two arms and the leg. I actually did the other leg too. So I have four pieces. Look, you can kind of see it. <laughs> the teddy bear is forming. Okay, so the next step that we have to do is do the head of the teddy bear. So this one's pretty straightforward. Again, it's the same circle that we started out with. It's uh, row one, we have six stitches. So it's literally the same that we did for the legs and the arm. And then it does have an increase um, three times and decrease two times, but we'll explain it when we get there. So if you're in a pro at this already, grab that slack wrap it over twice. Make sure you have a little bit to go over the end here. You want to use your middle finger to keep that down. Meanwhile, take your needle, put it through those two loops, and through the third, grab it with the hook, and slide it through those two loops. Then we're going to go grab yarn over some more yarn, pull it through this loop, and now we can slide this whole thing off. Make sure that your needle is nice and secure on this chain. Make sure it's not too tight but not too loose. And now we're going to yarn over pull up a chain to get that height of the row. And then we're going to single crochet six stitches. Put the needle through those two loops, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. So let me see. I think I did five, right? <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we're going to take that end of the yarn and you want to pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it till that circle gets tight there. Okay. So once we have that, count the stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to put the needle in the front and back loops this time. Yarn over, pull through the two loops, pull through the chain. And for me, I'm going to get some slack because I'm going to mark off where that last stitch is. Okay. Put the needle back. Sure it's nice and taut. So now we have to increase by six. So as we do six stitches, I'm going to do the increase stitch. Okay. So yarn over, pull through the loop, make a chain. Now we're going to start our single crochet stitches. Stick through the next loop. Yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. 
Now we're going to do this again in the same stitch to do the increase stitch. Stick it in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over and draw through two. I'll show you again. So stick it through the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. To do the increase stitch again, you stick it in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, one more time, single crochet in the next stitch. Now in the same stitch, stick it back in there, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through the two. Now we have to do this three more times. So in total, we're going to have 12 stitches. One, two, three, Now I'm going to count back 12 inches, uh, 12 stitches. We're going to do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Put it through front and back loops. Yarn over. Pull through the front and back loops. Pull it through the chain. For me, make some slack, put it back in that last stitch I just made, get my marker, pull it through. Let's put back the needle. Get nice and taut. Okay. So now we're going to do the third row. We have one, two. We're going to work on the third row and we have to increase by six more stitches. So I guess, um, <laughs> After two stitches, I'll increase it by one. So let's yarn over, pull up a chain to get to that height. Now we're going to start the single crochet. So when it gets into bigger numbers like this, we know that at the end of the day, we have to have in total 18 stitches. So as long as we count up 18 stitches, you can increase it anywhere that you need to. But like I said, I'm going to increase it every two stitches and see what happens. So sometimes you think you got the math right and then you don't. All right. So let's start with one. Two. and increase it, but I'm going to count three. Four. Five. Increase it. Six. Seven. Eight. Increase it. Nine. 10, 11, increase it, 12, 13, 
14, increase it, 15, Sixteen, seventeen, for the marker, increase it eighteen. So we have eighteen stitches now. Let's double check before we do a slip stitch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So slip it through the front and the back loops. We're gonna yarn over, pull through the f those loops, and pull through the chain. I'm gonna give myself some slack here. Put it back into that stitch that I made. Get my marker. Pull one end through. Let's put the needle back. Make it nice and taut. Okay. So we just completed the third row. Now for the fourth row, we have 18 stitches and we're going to increase six more times, you guys. It's getting a little intense. <laughs> so in this case now, we are going to increase one every three stitches and hope for the best. Obviously, we need 24 stitches, so as long as we count 24, we're all good. So yarn over, pull a loop through the chain. Now we're going to start our single stitches, our single crochet stitches. Okay, I'm loaded up here. <laughs> Go next stitch. One, two, three, increase, four, five, six, seven, increase, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Increase, 12, 13, 14, 15, increase, 16, 17, 18, 19, increase, 20, Move my marker, increase 24. Okay, so we should have 24 stitches. Remember, like the same as the other ones, push the right side up as it curls. So let's count 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Slip it through the front and back loops, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the chain. 
And for me, I'll grab some slack, stick the needle back into the stitch that I just made, grab my marker, pull one side through, put the needle back, pull the rest of it taut, now we can move on to the next row, which is row five through row eight. Okay, so in the instructions, they bunched up rows five through eight. That's three rows. The next three rows that we're gonna do, we have to do 24 inches. So we get a break from doing math. So yarn over, pull up through the chain, and let's start our single crochet stitches. 24 in counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Move the marker. Okay. I hate when the numbers get higher because then you have to make sure you have that number and then you just, the counting is longer, obviously. But we're gonna make sure we have 24 stitches before we do that slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So this does seem a little redundant, but it has to be done. Whenever you're following somebody else's instructions, you want to make sure that you get the number of stitches right because, um, you know, only they know what steps are next, you know, and if you screw up in one of the rows, you have to kind of backtrack to see where you messed up so that you can catch up yourself all over again and make sure you're doing, um, just all of it right. So, sticking this back in the stitch that I did, putting the marker back on. So we did that one row. Now we gotta do two more rows of 24. Okay. And as you're doing this, you'll realize that you memorized some of this and you'll get better at it and crochet faster one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. marker. Again, let's count to make sure we have 24. It's looking like a little hat. <sighs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Stick it through front and back loops. Yarn over, pull through the back loop, front and back loops, pull through the chain. Then again for me, pulling up a loop so that I can put this back in the stitch. Place my marker. Pull through one end. Pull back the needle. Make it taut. Okay, so now you guys, we're on the eighth row. We have one more row to do of 24 stitches. So we're gonna do this. Again, in case you forgot, yarn over, pull up a chain. Then we're gonna start our single crochet in the next stitch here, counting 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, the marker. All right, let's count 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Stick through the front and back loops, yarn over, pull up, and pull through the chain, some slack, put through the last stitch you made, put on your marker, slip that through, pull one end out, the needle back, 
make it nice and taut. Okay, so now we are in row nine. Oh boy. So we have 24 stitches currently and we have to minus 12. So we're pretty much halving this, you guys. So I guess every second stitch I'm going to subtract. We're gonna use the de decreasing stitch. So, yarn over, pull up a chain. Now we're going to start our single crochet. So at the end of this, we have to have 12 stitches. So, one, two, we're going to decrease, so stick it in one. Stick it in another stitch next to it and draw through all three. So we have two. We're gonna do a single crochet. Now to do that again for you guys in case you forgot, we're gonna do the decreasing stitch, put your needle through the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, do not complete the single crochet. We're gonna stick the needle into the next stitch after that, yarn over, pull up, and then yarn over and draw through all three. So now we should have four, and let's continue doing this all the way around. Five, six, decrease, seven, eight, Decrease. Nine. Ten. Decrease. Eleven. Twelve. Decrease. Hmm. 24 minus 12 is 12. <laughs> Do I have 12 on here? I have 12 on here already. But I didn't finish the thing here. Hold on. <gasps> Lord. This is where I get confused. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it wasn't every two stitches, I guess it's every three stitches. Alright, let's go back. My bad, y'all. This is why we have the marker. Okay. So every three stitches. I'm going to pull back to that single chain after we did the slip stitch. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yarn over, pull up a chain. Now let's try every three. I think it's every three stitches. Alright. Let's start the single stitch and counting. One. Two. Three, decrease. But wait a minute, that doesn't make sense either. Holy schmoly, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Leave a comment below. Maybe it's my math. It is late. Maybe not every two, but every one. Okay, sorry. Not every three, every one. Ay, ay, ay. 
Okay, let's do this again. Sorry, you guys. I think my math is just really off today, or at least at this late of hour. So we're back to that single chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and every other now. So we're, um, every stitch actually. So for our single crochet, we're going to stick it through that next stitch, yarn over, don't complete it, stick it to the next one, and then pull through. And we're just going to keep decreasing every stitch and we should get 12 stitches. So I'm going to count out loud as I do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, and twelve. Remove the marker. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Let's count 12 stitches before we slip knot this together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Stick it through the front and back loops. Yarn over. Draw through both loops. Draw through the chain. Now I'm going to stick through that existing stitch put the marker and then put the needle back make it taut see the magic of that marker magic marker <laughs> I didn't even realize I was doing that um, the way that I messed up and I went back I was able to go back to the beginning if this marker wasn't here um, I would have totally I could have went too far. I mean, you'll end up, after you do it, you'll end up noting, um, knowing where that slip stitch is, but um, if you're a beginner, you wouldn't know. So it's a good thing I have this marker here. But now we're going to do row 10 and we have to minus 6. So we have six, 6 stitches in the end, which means we are decreasing every stitch, as we learned <laughs> from the previous row. So, yarn over, pull through the chain. Now we're going to start our decrease stitch into this next stitch here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, move the marker. Let's make sure we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stitch.
stick it through the front and back loops, yarn over, pull through the loops, pull through the chain. So now we have our head. Now the tricky part is I think I have to leave the marker in this still, so I'm gonna put the marker back into the last stitch we made. Go through one end. Put the needle back and taut because so we finish this section here. When you move on to number four, okay. Um, the last thing it says, keep on crocheting the body. So this is the crochet body. We finished the crochet head. We're doing the crochet body. Now, It looks like rows 11, 12, and 13 are going to be of brown, and then the rest, 14 through 20, are going to be the yellow. Okay. So it's getting very difficult right now because we just went from big to small, so it's, I'm having a literal hard time, you know, just fitting in here. But we're going to make this work because row 11, it says we have to increase three stitches. So we have to have nine in total, which means I am going to be increasing every two stitches. So I'm just going to grab some of this and we're going to do this thing. Yarn over, pull up a chain. Now we're going to start our single crochet. We're going to stick it in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up. We have one. Now for this next one, we're going to increase. So stick it in there. Yarn over, pull up. We have two. We're going to use the increase stitch, so we're going to stick it back into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up. So you have three, four, five, oops, five, increase into the same stitch, six, seven, eight, remove the marker, increase into the same stitch, nine, so we have nine stitches now. Let's count to make sure before we do the slip stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yarn over, pull through those loops and pull through the chain. We know what to do. I'll put this through the last stitch we made. Use my marker. Okay. Put the needle back. Now we're doing row 12. Row 12 has 9 plus 3, so we're going to have 12 stitches, you guys. <sighs> so, every 3 stitches I'm going to increase, and we should get our 12 stitches. Okay, 
So we run over, pull up through the train. Alright, we're going to do our single crochet. One, two, three, increase, same stitch, four, five, six, Seven, increase, same stitch, eight, nine, ten, eleven, move the marker and 12. So we have 12 stitches now. Let's count it to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Stick this in the front and back loops. And then through the chain. some slack, put in the seam, the last stitch, the marker, put back the needle, okay. Now we have 12 stitches, so this is the third and the last row of the brown. We have to increase three more stitches, which means we'll have 15. So every four stitches, I'm going to increase by one. Now I have to remind myself in the end, we're going to switch to the yellow. And I'll show you again, you guys, how I do it. You can do it any other way. If you find out another way through Google, or if you have your own way that you do, if you're experienced. Let me grab my, this is what I do. <laughs> I overload it. Okay. So, yarn over, pull up a chain. Like I said, every four stitches, we're gonna increase three to make 15 stitches. Now, yeah. one, Two, three, four, increase, same stitch, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Increase, same stitch, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Move the marker and we're going to increase the same in the same stitch 15. Okay, so let's double check that we have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now. Um, stick it in front and back loops. So before I forget, we are going to change this to yellow. So I'm going to grab my yellow. 
And like I showed you before, you want to take your thumb and your ring finger and then your middle finger and your index finger. You want to put the needle perpendicular to it. You want to go down and dip So you have this loop, I'll do it again, perpendicular, down and over. So you get this loop. Now, you're going to want to um, use your finger here to hold it in place so you can let go. You want to gather your yarn here. Now, like I said, you're going to want to pinch these two together. So you have this one going that way, this end going the other way. Just pinch it together and then we're going to yarn over and you want to pull it through that loop while you're still pinching it. Okay, so now that we pulled up the loop, we want to make it nice and tight and have like as little excess here. So again, grab, pinch the end the very end of this and then um, you're going to want to kind of pull this side here to get it to, you want this loop to get as close to this end as possible without losing it. So you want to do a push and pull. Like I said, you have this piece that you can pull. Don't pull that piece. Pull the piece that is stationary because that controls this loop. So you want to do a... I want to let go of this. Like I said, not the one that you can pull back and forth, the one that's stationary. You want to use your thumb and index to push the loop that way. And then you want to use your two fingers here to pull it in the opposite direction. And you want to keep on doing that till it gets tight. You see this getting tighter? Not too tight, just so that you can't do it anymore. If I keep pulling and pushing, nothing is moving. And you see you have this really nice piece at the end. We're going to put back this needle. Now just to make sure you don't lose this, you're going to hold it. It's like a necktie. You hold it and you're going to pull this side now. And you want to pull it to where and I'm holding this down just in case to where it's nice and taut. You can still, it's not super tight. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to pull this yellow through both the front and back loops and that chain. Okay. So we have that. Then what we're going to do, we're going to cut this. And then, like we did before, if you don't want it to like, if you're just worried it's going to unravel, tie a little knot around the yellow. Don't tie it too tight, but just tie it so that it's stuck there. We can tuck this in. Okay. So now, we don't need to put a marker this time because the yellow indicates where we started. But yeah, so um, now for row 14 and on, we'll be using the, the yellow. And we have to do 15 stitches plus 3. So we have to have 18 stitches in total, which means every 5 stitches I am going to increase by 1. And we'll count that off. 
So we're going to yarn over, pull up through the chain, and now we're going to start our single crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, increase by one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, increase by one, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, Increase by one in the same stitch, 18. So now that we have 18, let's count to make sure we have 18. Three, four, um, I have six, <laughs> nine, 12, 15, 18. So we're gonna stick the needle in the front and back loops, yarn over, pull through the front and back loops, pull through the chain, Get some slack. Stick it in the same stitch that we just made. Pull the marker through one end. Stick the needle back nice and taut. Okay, created our transition. So now for row 15, we have to have 18 stitches plus two. So every um, at the ninth stitch, I'm going to increase by one. So at the end of this, we have to have 20. So yarn over, pull up a loop, through the chain, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, increase the stitch, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, remove the marker, and we're going to increase same stitch. 20. Okay, let's count to make sure we have 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yarn over, draw through that, and draw through this. up some slack, put the needle and back to the last stitch we made, pull the marker through one end, put the needle back. Okay. Now for rows 16 through 17. So for two rows we're gonna do 20. 
easy peasy. So we're gonna do that real quick. Counting off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, one more row of 20. Count twenty. One, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. I almost forgot what I was doing there. Now for row 18, we have to decrease by 2, so we end up with 18, which means um, after 10 stitches, I'm going to use the decrease stitch. So, yarn over, pull up one. One, 
to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on the tenth one, we're gonna stick it in, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we're going to draw through all three. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, now for 18, and I'm going to stick the needle in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, and then we're going to stick the needle into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, and draw through all three, move the marker, we have our 18. So let's count 18 before we slip knot this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're going to slip this in here, yarn over, draw through those, and draw through this chain. Gonna add our marker. Put the needle back. Okay. Now for our next row, 19, we have 18 stitches minus six. So at the end we're gonna have 12 stitches. So every two stitches, I guess I'm going to decrease. So draw a loop through one, through the chain. Now we're going to start our single crochet. Hopefully, I do this right. <laughs> single crochet. One, two, decrease stitch, three, four, decrease stitch, five, Six, decrease stitch, seven, eight, decrease stitch, nine, ten. Decrease stitch, eleven, and then twelve. We're going to decrease the stitch. So put it in here. Next stitch over. Draw through all three. Move the marker. Okay, did that right? <laughs> so let's count twelve stitches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
so we just did 19 we're doing row 20 the last one yay um for the body uh it's 12 minus 6 so we have six left so i believe every stitch we decrease the stitch and we'll get six Okay, let's do this. Yarn over, pull through the chain. Two, one, two, three, four. Five, and six. Okay, move the marker. Let's count off six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. This, do that, and I'm gonna need some excess yarn here. I'm gonna cut it. Yarn over pull through this whole thing and then we're going to tighten it so this is going to be fun to fill but not really so we have that so now we have the body we have two arms and two legs we're getting there, people. You can even hear in my voice that it's like late, I'm getting tired. But we only have two more pieces to do, you guys, and I just want to get it over with, so... Let's do this. So now for number five, it wants us to have ten for the first row. So instead of having just six like we did on the other pieces, we're gonna make sure that we get this out of 10. So like we did before, you want to roll it up to where you get a little bit of overage there. Okay, like this. That might be a little too much. Okay, like this. Stick the needle in, pull that last piece through those two loops, okay, you want to yarn over and pull through this loop, okay, now you can slip this off. So now we're going to do 10 single crochet stitches. So we want to yarn over, pull up that one chain to get the height, then we're going to do the single crochet 10 times. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now let's make sure that we have ten. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, before we slip knot it, get that little end piece. You want to start pulling it. Pull, pull, pull. So you get it pulled and it's nice and spiraled like that. Then let's slip knot it. Let's make sure that we get our 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll slip it through the front and the back loops. Yarn over, draw through those loops and draw through that chain. And we got our starting circle. Now these are the ears. Funny thing is it doesn't say time two times two like it does with the arms and the legs, but we all know that um, bears have two ears. So we're gonna do this one twice. Uh, okay. And we just have to do two more rows of 10. Oh, and mark off where your last stitch was. I almost forgot that. Okay. They run over pull up through the chain. Now we're going to do our single crochet and we need 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. marker, push up the right side, okay, let's count off 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Pull the loop through the chain. Ten stitches. Ten single crochet stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10. Marker. Let's count back 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. through this and this and then we're done with this so we're gonna tie this off so we got our ear Okay, so I have my ear that we just made and I did make another one. So now we got two of these. And last but not least, we have to make the mouth. So again, I am going to wrap this around. Stick the needle through it, grab that last piece there, pull it through, then yarn over, pull it through that, slip this off my finger, and now we're going to do our single crochet. And we have to do seven of these. So let's do seven of these. Okay. Oh wait, before we do that, I have to yarn over, pull up one to get that height, remember? And then we're going to do the single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once we have that, we got to pull that end of the string here. Pull it, pull it, pull it, until everything's nice and snug. Got our little spiral. So then, we're going to make sure we have seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip it through there, front and back loops. Yarn over, draw through the loops, draw through the chain. Pull up some. Now, I am going to want a different color this time because white and white is going to be hard to see. You know, through the same stitch we just did. And pull this through. So we have that. Stick your needle back in. And now, based on this, we're going to do one more row of seven, and then we can start sewing this together. One. Now we're going to do the single crochet. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, and seven. Mm 
remove the marker. Let's push the, the right side up. All right, let's count this off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. here, pull through that chain, okay, now I'm going to want some excess, cut this off, yarn over, pull it through that loop, and tighten it up, okay. And I just tuck in all these pieces. I don't really like how they have this because this can loosen at any time. So there's that. So now we have our mouth. We have our ears. Just making sure this is tight. ears, we have our arms, we have our legs, and we have our body. Now we get to assemble this stuff. Okay. Crochet the arms and legs by following the stitches in step one and step two. Crochet the body and continue crocheting the head using step three and step four. Insert the plastic eyes to the head before stuffing. Stuff head and body with fiber fill stuffing, stuffing and close. Attach the ears, the arms, the nose, and body together following the illustration. Embroider the facial features using pictures in the illustration. So this is a lot of work. Um, I don't know if there's more to this that I don't have, but it's saying step one and step two, like, bro, really? What are you talking about? <laughs> the good thing they have illustrations, so it looks like you want to take the body crazy how there's brown here. I don't have brown. But if you look here, look. It's all yellow. Unless this was supposed to be two pieces. Keep on crocheting the body, but then that doesn't make any sense. Oh, bro. I think this was supposed to be reverse. <laughs> I think that this was supposed to be all brown, and then this was supposed to be, I mean, this is supposed to be all yellow, and this is supposed to be brown. And it even says it. That is my fault. Okay, let me pause this. I'm gonna fix it. And I'll come back with a better body. So, when we did this, we went straight into the body. It was supposed to be, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was supposed to be eight rows of yellow and then the brown. So that is my fault. Let me correct this and I'll be right back. Leave a comment below if you want me to do another video where I fix it, where I do it the right way. Starting with the body so we don't have to do all this, but just starting here. But I'm just gonna pause and fix it. Okay, so I had fixed the issue I reversed this. If you look closely, 
the red is because this is I can only expand it so much that I didn't notice there's red marks in these circles and they indicate what row it is and so row 10 was this little one here um, and I totally missed that so I had reversed it so now I corrected it we've got the brown at the bottom where it's supposed to tune in for part two in my next video